What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Handy Rocks. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can remove the pop of ads from your Android device. I already made a video about the same topic. If you haven't watched my previous video, I'll give the link here on the top corner. And if you are watching this from Facebook, I will give the link in the video description. So there are three ways that we're gonna discuss about in this video to remove the pop of ads from your Android device. So no more wasting time, let's get started. All right, guys, so as I mentioned earlier that I will show you three different type of ways to remove the pop-up ads. So the first one is basically what I have made the previous video about. So what you have to do is just go to your settings and then you have to go to applications. Basically, just have a look here in your installed apps. So if you find any suspicious application here, which has no name or no icon, only it will show you how much memory it has. So if you find any application like that, just tap that and hit on uninstall. So that's it. So that is the first method guys. And the second one I will show you is the this application called block ad a. I don't know how to pronounce block ad a or something like that. So this application really a good application. I will also give the link in the video description below. You can just download this application uh, from this link or what you can do is just, you can just go to your Google Chrome browser. Then you can search here B L O K A D A and hit on search and the first website that you get here just tap there and you see this applic uh, this website here so you can just download this application from this website you see the download option is here you can just download it and install it manually so i have already installed the, uh, this application on my device so that's why i'm showing you from here where is it block at here so you can see it has to be like this and you just have to hit on this option I mean you just have to turn it on and then it, it will start blocking all the pop-up ads in your device so basically guys let me just tell you this method really works guys I have been using this for a long time but if you have any application like suspicious application which has no name no icon installed on your device this application won't work so make sure you uh, check my previous video first guys that's why i'm mentioning it like more and more because you need need to have a, a clean and clear application list then this application will work otherwise it won't work so make sure you don't have any suspicious application installed on your device and then you can just install this block ada this application and you just have to turn this on and that's it guys there you go so let me just go ahead and quick show you an example so i'm just turning this off so this is now off now let me just go ahead and go to mx player you you all guys might know that mx player have a lot of ads so as you can see i just opened mx player and it's showing me pop up ad so i can just cut it from here let me show you a random video that i shoot so let's say this one all right you see the pop up ad once i pause it it shows me a pop up ad like this so now I'm, what I'm gonna do is just turn the block ADA on. I wanna just open the MX player one more time. Now I'm gonna play the same video one more time. See, no pop-up ads. No pop-up ads, all right? even uh, in my screen no pop-up ads so this is how it works guys so i would say this block era works really well unless you have an hidden application in your app list so yeah guys that's my second way to remove the pop-up ads from your device and now let's talk about the third way to remove the pop-up ads from your device but that might be a little bit harmful for that particular application which is giving you the pop-up ads let me just explain it a little bit more this is one of the application that you can uh, use for patching or for cracking or like to remove the ads from 
your application i mean you can make any application fully offline so let's talk about mx player so mx player is basically for playing videos that you already have in your device storage so that's not like online player or something right so you don't need internet connection in your mx player but mx player still using internet to show you the pop-up ads so if we can just cut off the internet connection of mx player we can use the MX player without any ads, right? This is where the Lucky Patcher is helpful. We will use the Lucky Patcher to make the MX player fully offline. So the MX player won't be able to use internet connection to give you those pop-up ads. So you just have to go to the Lucky Patcher. Once you're here, then you have to uh, look for the MX player, as you can see here. You can just tap. If you just tap on MX Player, you'll see different options. So now you have to click Menu of Patches. Then you see here Remove Google Ads. So if you just tap here, now hit Remove Google Ads one more time, and you will see all different options here. And just hit Apply. That's it. It's working, guys. So it's patching. So after this, MX Player won't be able to use internet connection in your device because some of the applications crash suddenly so just to remind you guys this is a, a little bit harmful for that particular application which you want to make fully offline because sometimes it doesn't work so let me just show you it says it's done it's successfully done some of them are failed two of these are failed so don't worry you can just hit ok or hit launch whatever you want so I'm just gonna open it from here. Yeah, so as you can see guys, so the small uh, ads which were showing in between my folder lists, they are gone as well. So this is how you can remove the pop-up ads or any ads from your device or you can make any application fully offline. If you want me to show you more about Lucky Patcher, you can just uh, write it in the, in the comment section. I'll definitely make more videos on lucky patcher because lucky patcher is really useful guys you can use it to make any application fully offline so that's it guys that's the three different ways so let me just remind you one more time so the first method was the unknown application you have to just find any unknown or suspicious application in your applications list or if you if you find any just remove them remove that or remove them and the second one is you, you can use the block adder. Block adder is a really good application, guys. And it's totally free. You don't have to pay anything for the block adder. And the third one is you can use the lucky patcher. So yeah, that's it, guys. And if you still have any problems, you can just let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely make more videos on that topic, guys. All right, guys, so that's it for today. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe this channel as well because I always bring this kind of videos every week. So see you guys soon. Keep rocking.